don't have their hands in the till. You think I'm joking, don't you? Can you imagine if he appointed me to run DHS? I mean, excuse me, HHS. Can you imagine what I would do inside the NIH and the NSF? Do you know what I would do with science funding in this country? Half of them would be out of work. Half of them would have to go to Saudi Arabia to look for a job because they produce nothing of worth in science or medicine for 30 years, and they've cashed in on the gravy train. Now, I'm giving you one example of one area that I know something about. Now, could you imagine if he appointed somebody in the Department of Homeland Security who put America's interests first instead of this Wall Street fraud, Jed Johnson, who should have been fired? Or what if he put somebody into immigration, ICE, who really cared about our borders, language, and culture? Can you imagine what would happen inside the Vatican and Catholic Charities and Lutheran Family Services and Baptist Family Services and Jewish Family Services and all of these other greedy front groups? for religion incorporated can you imagine what would happen if donald trump actually took over this country and put somebody into ICE who cared about our borders language and culture and moreover do you have any idea that he might actually go after obama and some of his minions if he's elected for crimes against america you know you don't understand what could happen if he wins they do they know better than you what might happen so now they're using anything they can to try to bring him down in this case, it's him saying that uh, Muslims should not be allowed into the country. Now, remember, I didn't say it. He did. I said it another way. I said ban all immigrants for seven years. It's in my book, Government Zero. Ban all immigrants for seven years. We're swamped. The lifeboat is sinking. There's not enough water and food on the lifeboat for the immigrants. The only people pushing it are those who are profiting from the immigration industry. The immigration government complex is overwhelmingly rolling in money those would be the religion incorporated groups as well as organizations such as facebook zuckerberg microsoft bill gates oracle larry ellison in my opinion all of them just want cheap labor they want more h-1b visas to drive the price of labor down it's a given it's not an invention that's why they all hate Donald Trump, and that's why they want open borders. Throw Rubio into the mix as well, by the way. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7287. Savage Nation. So Trump stepped in it, according to the liberals, the other Republican candidates who are liberals in uh, Wolf's clothing. Uh, are screaming, he's done this, he's done that, he's unqualified. And the lower they are in the totem pole, like Lindsey Graham, who's the worst of them all, has the worst things to say about him, incidentally. Now Britain wants to ban him. What's intriguing about that is that I don't know how they can ban someone for saying something about American immigration policy. So why would they ban him? Well, the reason they want to ban him from Britain is because he made a claim that police in London fear for their lives because some communities are so radicalized. Isn't that a fact? Is there a London policeman listening to the Savage Nation who wants to call us at 855-407-282 and tell us the truth on this issue? Let's take a couple of calls. Then we're going to play the actual Trump speech in this segment uh, on the program. Dennis on WABC in New York City. What's your comment, please? Michael, I just wanted to say that the three greatest tellers of truth in my lifetime were Lenny Bruce, Michael Savage, and Donald Trump. And each one of them has been banned in England you know, I saw even... that on the board, and I didn't know Lenny Bruce had been banned uh, from entering England. And I looked it up. He was. He was put on a plane and sent back to New York in 1963. Of course, in his case, it was obscenity. In my case, it was political, uh, let us say, in, uh, uh, sensitivity on the part of the British. Religion, Religions Incorporated? He did that. Remember that one? That, yes. Yeah. Remember that? I remember that album. I was a young kid, and when that came out, I was... Just amazed by this guy's uh, ability to be a satirist like that. The three best yeah. tellers of the truth in the world have been banned in England. That that wouldn't even exist if not for our help. Well, my friend, you're right. I appreciate I know you put me in category now with L Lenny Bruce. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't like the way he ended up. <laughs> I mean, if I end up like Trump, I'd say, okay, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, Dennis, gifts today go out to you, Government Zero, for uh, are you Jewish or Christian? Savage. Are you Jewish or Christian, Dennis? I'm Jewish. You're getting a Hanukkah gift. Oh, really? Uh, cop, yep. Yeah, you can put it under your menorah. 
government zero. It's night number three. You light the third candle tonight. Later on, I want to tell you about about the uh, the the beautiful universalist meaning of the Hanukkah ceremony. Incidentally, I did it years ago. It's really a good story. Eight five five four seven two eight two is the phone number. Trump's statement is the issue. Trump on Muslims has now ignited a firestorm. You know, people are saying he's this and he's that, but maybe they're thinking about it. That's why they're so angry. Why is the statement so controversial? Well, maybe there's a scintilla of reason in it. Could that be? Now, what did he actually say? It was actually a two-paragraph statement on preventing Muslim immigration on his campaign website that set this off. Did you know that? So let's listen to the actual statement itself, which he made, I think, after that came out. Isn't that true? To, qu to qualify and clarify. And then you have to judge for yourself. I'm not here to uh, wash the speech. I'm not here to brainwash you. I am not Barry Obama. Listen to the whole thing. Two minutes long, Donald Trump on Muslims. I watched last night, and I watched a president, truly, that didn't know what he was doing. He didn't, he didn't know why he was there. He refuses to use the term radical Islamic terrorism. He refuses to use the term. I don't even know if he knows what the hell's going on. I really don't. <laughs> Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. We have no choice. We have no choice. According to Pew Research, keep, among keep others, going. there is a great hatred toward Americans by large segments of the Muslim population. Most recently, a poll from Center for Security Policy released data showing 25% of those polled agreed that violence against Americans, these are people that are here, by the way, people are here, 25, not 1%. By the way, 1% would be unacceptable. 1% is unacceptable. 25% of those polled agreed that violence against Americans here in the United States is justified as part, think of that, as part of the global jihad. I was the same person. I got to tell you, so far, the security is not doing a great job in here. I'll tell you that. That was we can be politically correct and we can be stupid, but it's going to get worse and worse. Until we are able to determine and understand this problem and the dangerous threat it poses, our country cannot be the victim of horrendous attacks by people that believe only in jihad. Well, that's the speech, and that's his uh, justification uh, regarding the ban the Muslim speech, which will be the fulcrum of his ascent to the White House or descent from the White House. This will be the, the uh, point at which it goes one way or the other. Now, in World War II, the very liberal Democrat President Franklin D. Roosevelt had some interesting actions and statements to make about Japanese, German, and I will, will remind you, Italian aliens during World War II. Did you know that? And Trump is relying upon Roosevelt's actions as precedent. Did you know that? And yet the idiots, Paul D. Ryan, who's a front for Hillary Clinton, he's not a Republican at all. Ryan works for the, the whole establishment is one lump. Ryan, Clinton, Reed, they're all the same. Of course, Hillary jumped in on it. She knows something about hate, so she says, hate is not an American value. That's funny coming from the Clinton machine. Sidney Blumenthal is known for his love and his love affair with the truth. Jeb Bush, the loser, attacked uh, Trump. Lindsey Graham, the loser, called him a xenophobic, race-baiting, religious bigot. Well, Lindsey, I would say that applies to you more than it does to him. 
Ted Cruz is the only one who declined to join in the attacks. Ted Cruz said, I commend Donald Trump for standing up and focusing America's attention on the need to secure our borders, he said. Good for him. He didn't stab him in the back when he had the opportunity. He's, uh, he's, he's not that tight. Now, the ban that Trump is talking about would apply only to foreign Muslims. Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski said that Trump's proposal would apply to everybody, including Muslim tourists and Muslims seeking immigration visas, according to the Associated Press. The ban would not apply to American citizens who are Muslim, by the way. He said this does not apply to people living in the country. The ban would bring home Muslim Americans in the military. Donald, what about the members of our U.S. military who are Muslims serving overseas tonight? What do you say to them? They want to come home, said uh, one of the spokesmouth mouths on Fox uh, he said they will come home, and we have to be vigilant, and we have to take care of the Muslims that are living there. Here, Trump responded. But we have to be vigilant. We have two of them living here, and they had guns, and everybody that they everybody that they had, tremendous. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. So we're uh, at a fulcrum now, a, a changing point, a turning point, rather, in American history, because Obama wants to triple down and flood America with Muslims from Syria. 0.4% of the Syrian refugees who've been brought in by Barry Hussein Obama have been Christian. If you tell me this is not an invasion of Muslims, I'd like to know what is. Fact. Tell me why your president, who's so upset with Trump's statement, is bringing in so many Muslims and so few Christians who are really the ones who are being persecuted the most in Syria. After all, whose churches are being burned to the ground? Christian churches. Why have Christians been driven out of the Middle East. The head of the UN said that soon there will be no Christians living in the Middle East. Yet Obama doesn't want them here. Well, he did say he wants to fundamentally transform America. I guess he wants you uh, to understand what he really meant by that. Yeah. The Marxist Islamist doctrine is what he meant by that. Fundamentally transform America. It wasn't good enough that they took a low life like him, an unknown nobody. A senator who showed up half the time when he showed up at all and didn't even vote, and they made him president. That's the country he hates so much. He and his wife hated this country when they first became the first family. You forgot their speeches and statements. And so they don't like the country very much, and they want to change it. And I asked when he said that, what's his model? I asked it in a book a few books ago. What is Obama's model when he says he wants to fundamentally transform America? What nation does he have in mind? What does he want us to look like? Does anyone have any idea now what he wants us to look like? Certainly not like America. He certainly doesn't want this country to look or be like America. And so we can talk about that if, you, if you'd like. But I said very clearly, stop all immigration for seven years. And I believe my proposal is better than his for two reasons. One, we don't need any more immigrants right now. We have to absorb and assimilate those who are here. We also have to evaluate those who are here. We need to slam the borders shut. We need to go through all the aliens in America with all of our intelligence agencies and police agencies and find out which one of them are, want to do us harm, which ones amongst them are on the run from law in their own land, which ones might be criminals, which ones might be terrorists on the run. Don't you think we should clean house first? So I say ban all immigration for seven years. What's wrong with that idea? Who said that we need immigrants in America? We hear there's an unemployment rate that's much higher than the government reports. We know that 50% of Americans don't work, so the jobs are not plentiful. So what do we need immigrants for? Tell me what they're, what do you need them for? Tell me why, let's go to the fundamental question. What do you need immigrants for in America? I want to know the answer to that question. We have a high unemployment rate, much higher than the government's reporting. We have 50% of the population that's not working. So where are the immigrants going to go? On welfare, food stamps, bigger welfare state, makes it better for big government. See how that works? Big church, big religion, big government, religion incorporated. Big religion likes them. Big religion wants them. Especially the Catholic Church wants more immigrants. See, the American people kind of walked away from the pews. And uh, they need to stock the old pews again. 
No better way to do it than bring them in 